What's up guys? It's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and in today's video I am so excited because I'm going to be showing you how I style my new tapered fro. Now if you haven't already seen it, I do have a video on my channel showing you guys why I cut my hair, the process and basically everything you need to know about this cut but in this video I'm going to be showing you how I style it. Now can I just say that figuring out how to style this new haircut was a challenge that I did not expect. I tried to use my old wash and go routine on it and it didn't work so luckily there will be a ton of new natural hair videos showing you how I style this hair but today I want to show you the routine that I've been working with which is finger coils now I have been loving the way that this works on my hair my curls are super defined but I still get a nice full fro and this is day one hair I just finished doing it and through the course of the week it does get bigger and bigger and the curls are a little less defined which I love so my hair is already washed and I use the clear scalpman hair ultra shade conditioner and shampoo which I absolutely love because they're made for the scalp and they really nourish that extra dry scalp which I love and they also give me a long lasting moisture perfection so let's get started on this tutorial So as I mentioned, my hair is freshly washed and I just had that shower cap on it while I did my makeup so that I could keep it nice and moisturized and wet for styling. So now I'm going to get ready to style it. So I'm just dividing my hair in half so that I can work in sections and I'm going to divide that other half in half to work in an even smaller section. Now I personally like to style my hair on soaking wet hair so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just making sure that it's nice and soaked with my water bottle. And then I'm going to add some product. Now I'm adding a gel and a leave-in and I just like to add both of these, one for hold and one for moisture. And then I'm going to go ahead and thoroughly detangle this section so I can get ready to start working. So for my finger coils, I'm going to be using the Motions Versatile Foam Styling Lotion, which I absolutely love because unlike most foams that leave your hair feeling, you know, stringy and kind of dry, this feels just like what it says, like a lotion on the hair. And it just helps me set my finger coils and gives them a nice bit of hold, but it also leaves my hair really shiny and full of body. So I'm just thoroughly putting that all over this section and you can use a lot of this product, which I love. And I'm just going ahead and starting my little coils so as you can see I'm doing pretty small coils but you can do them bigger or smaller depending on your hair texture and the look that you're going for but I wanted really defined so I'm just going ahead and starting those coils So a quick tip is just finding which way your hair curls best. Now I find that my hair all curls in one direction and when I curl it in the opposite direction I don't get as nice of a curl. So you can just go ahead and test that out and see which way your hair coils and make sure that you're going in that direction. Another important tip is to make sure that you start at the roots and really coil those roots nice and tight. Now towards the back of my hair I didn't do that as much but you'll see when I get to the front of my hair that I really twirl the root of the hair a lot to make sure that I get some nice definition. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this smaller section. I'm adding a little bit more of that styling foam lotion and I'm just going to go ahead and keep coiling. <laughs> So as you can see my hair is nice and coiled, we're getting some good progress here so I'm just going to keep moving in the front. Now in the front of my hair I left a couple of those ends on my hair that aren't completely healthy so you'll be able to see right here how I have a little bit of a different curl at the end but that's fine I wanted to keep some length on the top of my hair for that real tapered fro look so I'm just going to continue what I'm doing and as you can see like I mentioned earlier I like to coil really tightly at the roots in the front for a real definition if you don't coil the roots of your hair it will be a little bit puffy while the rest is coiled so it's up to you and whatever look you're going for so 
so as you can see I'm finished with one side of my hair and I did the other side off camera and this is what it's looking like now the other side that I worked on first dried quite a bit while I was working on the smaller side but now I'm just gonna go in with my diffuser and dry up all of my hair making sure that it's nice and ready to be separated So now I'm just going to get ready to separate these coils. Now this is completely up to you because your hair will get bigger throughout the week. But I like to just go ahead and separate the bigger coils that I did and give myself a fluffier, fuller look. So after I do this, I'm just going to go in with my pig, make sure that I fluff it out a bit. And then of course, I'm going to slick down my edges. That has not changed. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope it helped you get some tips on how to do finger coils on natural hair, whether you have a tapered fro or not. And let me know in the comments below, do you like my new tapered cut? Should I go shorter? What styles do you want to see on this new hair? And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.